Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I am so excited to share with you my newest vintage cookbook purchase. I am obsessed. This has created the snowball effect of me becoming obsessed with this one writer and wanting to collect all of his works. And um, his name is, it's unfortunate, his name is Louis P. Degui. Here's a photo of him. But he's your classic chef um, with the hat and everything. But um, this is at the Gold Cookbook. It was published in 1947. And just to tell you a little bit about Louis P. Degui, he's an astonishing chef. His father was the Esquire of Cuisine to the late Emperor Francis Joseph of Austria, which it's like, that didn't end well. Um, sorry, because it's a World War I joke. Ignore it. Um, Later, he studied under the renowned Escoffier. If you're not familiar with Escoffier, and if you're into food history, um, he pops up because he's the major proponent of modern French and ergo European cuisine uh, from the late 19th century. So he lived from about 1846 to 1935, I think, and he basically modernized the entire French canon of cuisine. He's the one who codified the five mother sauces. He just streamlined everything. And so to study under Escoffier, I'm trying to think of like, who would even be on that same level, but maybe like a Joel Rubichon. Uh, maybe Thomas Keller, like Escoffier is like a god, like he's amazing. So his father studied underneath him. So Louis de Gouy has some really amazing laurels kind of in his cap and he's a very accomplished chef in his own right. The other thing that I love about him is he is a fantastic writer. He is so funny and has such a great sort of point of view. His enthusiasm is infectious and he is enthusiastic because he wrote 2,400 recipes for this one cookbook. He also wrote books, not quite of the same scope. I'd probably say they're about half this length, so probably about 1,000 recipes each. The salad book, the soup book, the pie book, the bread tray, the Dairydale fish and game book, chef's cookbook, the sandwich manual, soda fountain and drinks, which is the hardest one to find actually, ice cream desserts. And his wife co-wrote with him one called The Cocktail Hour, which is all cocktail recipes. So prolific barely begins to scratch the surface of this guy. But what I love about his recipes is they're beautiful. They're completely simple um, and they're very doable and very easy. And he also like sprinkles in these beautiful bits of history. It's just fantastic. So if you wanna learn how to do really beautiful, simple, um, like sort of French cuisine from I'd say like the mid century, like the forties, it gives you like a really great kind of idea. Like just opening to a random page like they have like lemon butter cauliflower, smothered cauliflower au gratin, French fried cauliflower. I'm obviously in the cauliflower section. Parsnip pie farmer style. Oh my gosh. And then there's some like really scary stuff because it's like fluffy peanut butter filling. It's like, no, no one needs that ever. His egg chapter, I find especially inspiring. Anyway, um, I, I'm trying to be breezy about this because if I really wanted to dig in, this would be a like three hour video, but um, he's amazing. And also the Dairydale Fish and Game book has an introduction by MFK Fisher, which if you've seen my other videos on vintage cookbooks, you know that's like a big deal because I'm a weird super fan of MFK Fisher. Anyway, um, definitely check it out. It's actually pretty easy to find because um, there were six printings of it. So it was immensely popular. Uh, so once again, check out ABE Books. Uh, Janet Jarvis, um, if you're on the West Coast, and definitely my girl, Bonnie Slotnick. Uh, she's in New York, she's the best, she's my favorite. Um, she's the one who actually had this book and who I purchased it from. Anyway, the gold cookbook, I will be cooking from this for the next month at least. Um, it's so, so good. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, please like the video if you like it. Comment below, what is your favorite cookbook? Is it the Kitchy Kitchen Cookbook? Just kidding, you don't have to. I mean, it's great if it is, but I won't, no, no pressure. It's okay if it's the joy of cooking. Like, I understand if it's the joy of cooking. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.